The Jolly Miller by James Whitcomb Riley. Restored Romont. It was a jolly miller, lived on the river D. He looked upon his pillar, and there he found a flea. Oh, Mr. Flea, you have bit me, and you shall surely die. So he scrunched his bones against the stones, and there he let him lie. Twas then the jolly miller, he laughed and told his wife, and she laughed fit to kill her, and dropped her carven knife. Oh, Mr. Flea, ho ho, tee hee. They both laughed fit to kill, until the sound did almost drown the rumble of the mill. Laugh on, my jolly miller, and Mrs. Miller, too. But there's a weeping willer, will soon wave over you. The voice was all so awful small, so very small and slim. He durst infer that it was her, nor her infer twas him. That night the jolly miller, says he it's wifey dear, that cat oh, yorn, I'd kill her. Her actions is so queer, she rubbin' against the grindstone legs, and yowlin' at the sky, and I lo the moon haint greener than the yarrow of her eye. And as the jolly miller went chuckle unto bed, was some pin jerked his pillar from underneath his head. Oh, wife, says he, uneasily, fetch here that lantern there. But some pin moans in thunder tones, you touch it if you dare. Twas then the jolly miller he trembled, and he quailed, and his wife choked until her breath, come back and she wailed. And oh, cried she it is the flea, all white and pale and wan, he's got you in his clutches, and he's bigger than a man. Ho, ho, my jolly miller, for twas the flea, for sure. I reckon you'll not rack my bones, nor scrunch em any more. And then the ghost he grabbed him clost, with many a ghastly smile, and from the doorstep stooped, and hopped about four hundred mile.